This week on Green Energy Futures, we travel to Fort Chippewan in the far north of Alberta, Canada, to the home of the Athabasca, Chippewan, and Miccosukee Cree First Nations, and the Fort Chippewan Métis as well. Many of these First Nations peoples have cabins out on the mighty Peace Athabasca Delta, the largest inland river delta in North America, and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Until recently, the only way to get electricity in these remote cabins was through a gas generator, or Jenny as they call them. That is, until they custom designed and started installing micro-solar systems. I think what I, I like about it is uh, that my little fridge is going to be running on solar power, not gas. <laughs> but yeah, just just that we can actually use the you know the green energy from the sun, the green energy from there that will help us to do things in a very safe way. And then that makes me feel proud that I may not be a hundred percent following the stewardships of what I hope we are, but at least I've started somewhere. Fort Chippewan is a small northern indigenous community of a thousand people. Blue Eyes Simpson is a director of Three Nations Energy, a community-owned energy company that has just completed a 2.2 megawatt solar project in Fort Chippewan to replace 25% of the local diesel-generated electricity. Working on the big solar project got them wondering, could they use solar at their cabins in the wilderness of the amazing Peace Athabasca Delta? We have uh, cabins within the, the Métis territory of, uh, you know, on the south end of, uh, of the south side shores of Lake Athabasca. And so uh, that area has, has been uh, lands to the Métis people for over 100 years. But when this project started, uh, the thing that everybody had asked was, how can we take that to our cabins? How can we make this something that we can enjoy in our cabins? So, Three Nations Energy worked with Green Planet Energy Analytics to design a micro off-grid solar system made specifically for their remote cabins, which they use for hunting, fishing, and recreation. In all, about 20 people from the Three Nations are getting solar systems. Blue Eyes Simpson was lucky enough to have her name drawn as a recipient of a solar system. <laughs> yes, the solar is not quite not quite there yet. I'm anticipating it's going to be there in the next couple of weeks. And I'm excited, just like uh, I guess I'm excited for Christmas morning or <laughs> whatever it may be, you know, or the birthday presents. But uh, it's exciting because I really would like to see how this works in the, in the long run. To see these microsolar systems in action, we hopped on Ross Campbell's boat for a very cold boat ride across Lake Athabasca in three degree weather to Blue Eyes Cabin. Getting there, we weaved through a myriad of small rivers, lakes and wetlands for an hour and a half until we arrived at a very remote location in the Peace Athabasca Delta. I didn't ever think that I would, uh, my name would be picked. So I was quite ecstatic when that happened because I thought that's really interesting. Because I did try two little panels with some, some uh, Canadian Tire batteries for my fridge, but that didn't quite work out too well. So <laughs> I thought, oh boy, and that, uh, that already had cost me a little bit of money. And, you know, we don't have money all the time. So <clears throat> that's, that was quite an interesting uh, how it came to be for us here to have solar packages at the cabins. Green Planet Energy Analytics specifically designed microsolar systems for the cabins. They built custom wooden racks that have two tilt angles, one for summer and one for winter. Each cabin solar system has four solar modules capable of producing 1.2 kilowatts of electricity, just enough electricity for some lights and a small fridge. Each system also has four batteries that can provide about two to three days of electricity if the draw is modest. In a few hours, the solar system is ready for Blue Eyes to use. I am, am looking forward to, you know, just uh, no generator in the background. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait for the day when I'm saying to my husband, listen, no generator, lights are not gonna go out now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when we go to the cabins, we get a time to uh, to relax, you know, to get away from all the technology. I told my husband, as soon as you bring that microwave out here, you're staying home. <laughs> but no, it, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it uh, it gives us a chance to just uh, 
just take a breath and just relax and enjoy what we have around us uh, while we still can. You know, Mother Earth provides us with trees, with the water, with the animals. And uh, just to take a breath and to rethink or, or just rejuvenate our, our minds and our thoughts, you know, and even our hearts and, and what it is that we have around us and appreciate it. You know, appreciate it very much and, and be thankful. The Athabasca Chippewan and Miccosu Cree First Nations and the Fort Chippewan Métis Association work together on the project. Members of all three communities are receiving small solar systems that were offered to cabin owners via a draw. So far, cabin owners are pretty impressed, and so is the local leadership. I've always got something to say in regards to moving in directions of... Uh, better lifestyle and easy lifestyle and I encourage all leadership and community members who want to make a difference invest into solar systems and invest into green energy because it is the way of the future. Solar and remote indigenous cabins seems to make a lot of sense. Cabin owners told us the solar is quiet, produces no emissions and is consistent with indigenous values. Oh, and it saves about $30 worth of gasoline, which is what it takes to run a generator for one day. And that's after you get the gas up north, over a winter road, and then ship it across Lake Athabasca to a cabin. Check out part two in our series about solar cabins next week at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. Oh, it's just an awesome day, and uh, like I said, I, I enjoy that sunshine, and uh, we're going to get some good use out of that sunshine, you know. Mother Nature provides us with beautiful stuff, as our elders have said over the years, and this is one of them. So, But thank you for the opportunity to, to share my information.